part three, third part of Superhuman Battlefield Recap. Remember to like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Let's start. The training session with Moon App and Beck Joho is in full swing. The latter lacks speed and good battle technique to win. Beck Joho makes a swift lunge with a sword in his hand, jumps up, attacking from above. His body is covered by a green glow but Ko Moon App is shielded from him by a shield when Beck Joho returns to his starting position, he wonders if he has succeeded this time. Ko Moon App admits that it turned out a little better than it was before but in his youth Beck Joho was capable of more. The coach of the national team and reminds the main character that he will not be able to watch his dramas. Today as it turns out Seal Moon App is waiting for a meeting at the Korean Battlefield Association there the head of the engineering team, Yu Hensu, talks about setting up the avatar of the main character hence who introduces Brown to Tenor who came from the world. Association who will observe the test SEO Moon app remembers that he sort of went through the setup and he is incredibly dissatisfied with everything again because his avatar was already created when SEO Moon app fought with Sullivan and Gerald Walker. They explain to him that this procedure is necessary in order for a person's abilities to be correctly transmitted to the avatar. Ko Moon app is taken to room to measure his abilities. The list of necessary knowledge about the player includes strength, agility, and aura. He is asked to do everything in the best possible way so that the testimony is as accurate as possible. The force is subjected to the first test. Begins gathering superpower in the palm. Of his hand he hits the wall and the scoreboard shows 813 points for strength. He does this several more times and the engineer comes to a disappointing conclusion for a great hero SEO Munap has a fairly average strength. Next, dexterity is checked. There are switches on each side of the room and with the starting siren, so Moon Up must press them in turn. Like lightning, the main character rushes from one switch to another, striking with the fact that in such a seemingly heavy body such a high speed of movement. When the test is completed so Moon will ask to announce. The result the number of points is 963. And after a little reflection, the man decides that if he pushes a little, he will cross 970. Second attempt is made, and when it ends, Hensu is shocked that he managed to score even more than 970. He tells about Nathan Vernon the first Superman who managed to score 1007 points in this test SEO Munyap already knows about him. Beck Jahu showed several videos the main character was interested in him since the speed of the Frenchman is equal to the speed of Beck. Zhao in his best years. SEO Moonap decides to take another test. He likes unlimited points, and he sets a goal to score 975 points. For some reason, it's in pretty good condition having accelerated. To his limit, he touches all the switches hence who can't help but notice that he has become faster right before his eyes. The test ends and the result is simply amazing 1007 points Ko Moon app remains. Confused since his agility according to the eye of analysis is 97 which is lower than that of Jiho and Nathan. The glasses show the same result as that of the fastest battlefield player he went beyond his capabilities which is good. News Ko Moon app returns to the previous test the strength test he gathers all his concentration that he has and strikes with all his might. The score increases to 890. Even Ko Munio finds it hard to believe how fast he is getting stronger longer. The main character has already felt something similar. And then he realizes that he is experiencing deja vu. Which means that this is not the first time that. So Moon App is experiencing such a fleeting growth of strength. It happened when he was fighting in the last dungeon. That fight was desperate. He understood that his body was already on the verge of death and then showed all the concentration that he could. His willpower strengthened. So Moon apps other abilities, and he realizes what's the point of him fighting if with his immortality and such a monstrous willpower. The third aura test is about to begin. All CEO Munyap needs is to put his hand on the sphere and pour as much aura into it as he can. After that, the color of the sphere will change. The man notes that the idea is very interesting. So putting his hand to the sphere seal moon app pours his aura into it. 
a purple glow appears around him and when he finishes, it still remains Pansu and Beak Jahousi, the number 1030. SEO Moon App sets a record in the history of mankind. The previous record holder for Aura Strength was Miss Shurin, one of the seven heroes. SEO Moon App remembers her without much. Difficulty Shirin in his memory has always been arrogant which compensated for her weak willpower. The main character is warned that immortality cannot be used on the battlefield. Further, the narrative is transferred to a large building, similar inside to a palace, where a group of people in black robes and hooded hoods led by a man says that they have received salvation that he is the only remaining light of our world because finally a revelation has come down to them from above which strengthens their faith a man lifts up. An excerpt from a newspaper with a photo of So Moon App, where it is written that he has discovered a new superpower, immortality. He proved himself worthy of reverence. He is a god descended from heaven. After leaving the building of the combat, Association Seal Moon App and Beak Joe meet this group of people who call Ko Moon App the savior of their world. Beck Joho closes his eyes, clearly not wanting to watch this picture but explains that all the crowd is the cult of Seal Moon App and they sincerely believe that the end of the world will come soon. Beak Joho tries to stop his friend. But SEO Moon App is not going to leave this matter on its own. Jumping with the help of superpowers, he lands in front of these believers and rudely demands that they immediately shut up when the blissful silence comes. Ko Moon App tells these weirdos to stop following him calling. Them crazy loafers people cannot believe that their savior rejects the very fact of the existence of this cult and so Moon App demands that the leader of this Sect come forward after a little more hesitation, the believers decide to show their strength to the hero starting with all the power of their voice to shout his name. Even though Beck Joho thinks that they are doing something, he sincerely feels sorry for them because they were able to drive Ko Moon App out of himself having come to a complete rage. He gives 10 seconds for these freaks to leave here, and if they do not fulfill the condition, then let them blame themselves. In the end, SEO Munet puts everyone on their shoulder and sitting next to a bunch of unconscious people holds some boy by the scruff of the neck wondering if he will pursue him in the future. The answer is obvious. It won't Beck Joho is not very enthusiastic about his friend's antics calling him abnormal. He however makes this remark a compliment to SEO Munyap who wants only one thing to continue training. However, Beck Joho is the opposite. They need to get home as soon as possible because reporters are definitely going to be here any minute. Suddenly, on the spire of one of the tall buildings, Ko Moon App's sharp vision catches the movement of the cloak, which immediately disappears as soon as he pays closer attention than the long-awaited day of the charity matches. Coming from American Battlefield Agent A, tall guy in a white suit named Jill Pellman arrives at Incheon International Airport. Every great person will visit Korea on this day. The arrival of Jake Land, a European agent, who, as soon as he notices Joe, promises him a fair competition for getting So Moon up into his collection. Meanwhile, reporters pay attention to the brothers Jean and Philippe Morov. They are the owners of the exclusive Battlefield Club in Paris, which, like all those interested, came for the revived hero they dream about what Golden Eggs Co Moon app will lay when the club comes to them three representatives of different countries meet eyes and they all came here for the same piece of meat so moon app tension hangs between them like a heavy cloud and the ringing sound of heels interrupts him turning their heads they meet the youngest among the seven heroes miss shorin who came to see her brother beak joe and seo moon app arrive at the stadium where the match will be held in a luxurious black car walking along the red carpet the latter does not pay any attention to the cheers all his thoughts are occupied only with the upcoming game reporters surround seo munyap and beak 
Jahu uses him as bait to get out of. Their site journalists are pestering. SEO Munyap with questions about whether the hero is tormented by conscience for attacking his own cult. However, one of them still manages to attract the attention of Ko Moon App when he reports the news that Miss Sheeran has arrived. And in Korea to watch the game she would like to see a child she knows the hero is furious with such a formulation because who could sure and have in mind if not him entering a building where ordinary workers admire a legend passing by them seal moon app finds beak jiho he asks him about sharon's arrival and when jiho realizes that she is here he advises his friend to carry a shield with him everywhere and stay alert since in the past ko moon up treated sharon badly and even brought her to tears, although she did not understand Korean very well. However, SEO Moonup hopes that all grievances are in the past, and she will not take revenge for them. 17 years ago, Sharon was selected to the team of seven heroes. She came from a rich family, grew up like a princess, and knew no refusal in anything. These were the people SEO Moon App couldn't stand. The most he scolded the girl with all his might belittled her and did not put her in anything high young promises to pray for his uncle as it looks like a second funeral is waiting for him back. Jaho decides to postpone the conversation about Sharon for later. But, for now, to move on to the pressing issue a charity game. During the match, the players will be divided into two teams, the team of love and the team of hope, representatives of other nations. The other will include the rest of the, the love team will include players including Hai Yang, Beak Jiao, and Moon App the coach of the national team, asks to cover his back in case of something because he held a weapon in his hands for a long time the leader of hope promises to cope with this task but ko moon app without saying it out loud calls him a win back no matter how long ago jiho has been using weapons he is still better than the rest of the team after checking the data with the eyes of analysis ko moon app remains satisfied with how young and his friend but others receive less comforting indicators however, among others he singles out Choi. Kuyak, a man with a strength limit of 90. If we continue to develop his talent, something strong will come out. His superpower is an aura attack and super strength. But when the hero calls the guy to talk, he realizes that he has not mastered this gift yet. He is a melee fighter, although it was more correct for him to become a tank like So Moon App himself. Due to his thinness and low stature, the team coaching correctly determined Hyun's position after asking Ha Yong to hand over the shield seal. Moon App talks about how to fight him. Hyun doesn't understand anything the fighters don't use shields the whole. Team remains confused and indignant how can a person who sees Hyun for the first time change his position so easily. The players ask for help from the coach of the national team but he leaves them with this accepting the changes from moon app it's time to put on your gear it is light and as durable as the warriors were 17 years ago although the suit is quite comfortable jiho feels uncomfortable he never thought about putting it on himself the spear given to seo munyep is the weapon with which he went into his last fight a lot of time was devoted to its repairs since it was this artifact that saved the world Yahoo advises his friend to look in both eyes. He used to fight only monsters in the dungeon, and his current opponents are people who have been learning to fight with other people much longer than him because they have more experience than. Jiho and Moon App combine the main character before entering the arena calls them all brats the opponents of. The opposing team are dressed in red and the hope team is in blue after examining the performance of both teams Ko Moon. App concludes that they are almost identical one rival player attracts the hero's attention a blonde man with a short haircut blows gum and looks at him point blank without taking his eyes off his indicators are average but also like miss sheeran lacks willpower which suggests that perhaps this person grew up with a golden spoon in his mouth 
A blonde man asks why. Moonap is staring at him calling him an old man Jiang Su, which is. His name remembers Moonyap from the time of the U.S. game against South Korea and believes that the hero behaved too arrogantly, they have a conflict on the grounds that Moonap does not even know what battlefield is but climbs ahead of the whole planet. When Moonyap finds out that Yangsu's father is the vice president of the association, he is convinced of his guesses about the spoiled boy before going out on the set Ko Moon Ep explains why he asked the interlocutor about his father he himself grew up in difficult conditions and hates such sissies as Shirin and Yangsu. However, thanks to the son of the vice president, Moonap is charged for the game and finally showing the middle finger to the Protnik. Here is the end of part 3. Thanks for watching.